All right, guys, and welcome to Let's Play Wizardry Tale of the Forsaken Land. I think I might have actually gotten this game to work, which uh, I'm really excited about. Very old school style uh, role playing game for the PS2. And uh, one of my personal favorites on the console. Uh, it's just a, a pretty kick ass game. Uh, you guys might have seen my preview video, but there's actually been a, a newer version of uh, PCSX2 come out since then. And uh, I was actually able to get past the first combat, and uh, I played around in it a little bit, and then I think we got it working. So um, I'll try and be a little more serious for this game, but uh, I do what I can. Here's the uh, intro that plays if you basically take too long. Let me adjust that a little bit. If you basically take too long on the menus, this starts to play. I love the music in this game, it's actually really good at setting the mood. A place where living beings and dead beings, sadness, spite, and acts of evil are all invited. Those who embrace the unresolved solitude and drone of the Reaper. Ah, uh, the Reaper is a pretty fun mechanic. At least I thought so. Challenge your fate and struggle in this land. path to find the truth is for you to shed your own blood and tears, but no sweat. I still don't think I have the camera perfectly centered on here. And if that intro wasn't enough, now we have another one. Under the rule of the beautiful queen, the sacred town of Duhan enjoyed a long time of peace. I warn you guys, I'm not very good at reading out loud, as uh, anyone who's watched my prior LPs knows. A sudden flash from above destroyed the land and all was burnt to ashes. The beauty of the castle. In the town once crowded with people. Was now covered in snow. One day an adventurer set foot in this land. As the adventurer appeared about the town of Duhan, there was an emptiness, a sadness. The adventurer began to roam the town uneasy with heavy footsteps. And the tale slowly unfolds. I have a tendency to uh, read slower than I, uh, or to speak slower than I read. And uh, also paraphrase quite a bit. Alright. I think I've decided I'm playing a sorcerer, since you won't get an NPC sorcerer for a while. I've also decided I'm playing with the uh, pre-built characters, because you can actually make your own party of characters in this game, kind of like a nice one, Dale. But uh, I kind of think it's better for the story, and such if you play with the um, NPCs that already uh, are already built for the game, and they occasionally say stuff. and kind of your typical uh, role-playing fair. And here's where I'm going to power game a little bit. I hate doing this. I'm probably, I might fast-forward through this, but 
you see this uh, little thing up there that says 10 points? Basically, every time you do this, you're rolling your uh, points. And you just keep doing this until you get a decent number of points. 12 is the highest we've ever seen, and I'm not going to keep fucking with this all day. So for a priest, and why did I pick priest? For a sorcerer, we want high, wis high wisdom, apparently. That's kind of indifferent from the usual priest's fair, but... That, um... Some agility for higher initiative, basically. And I think that'll work for me. I'm sure it's not the most powerful build you could make, but, uh... I'm not that much of a power gamer, really. A cold wind ran through the demolished town of Duhan. As the snow seemed to dance like white flowers in the wind, a ghost-like shadow faintly emerged. It's Arthas. A man barely able to support his weakened body propped himself unsteadily upon his sword. It looked as if he was wounded. Last night, I heard a strange voice. A goddess of fate whispered to me that a savior shall arise in this cursed land, and that person will end the chains of suffering for all eternity. So you are the one. How do you know? I'm not sure whether this is a good thing or not. Ha 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 ha. He sarcastic, his sarcastic laugh resounded through the town of Duhan. Do you really think you can gain what I have lost? If this is the case, I regret not dying before your arrival. I would like to die. I would like to be able to die without that fickle goddess's notice. Very well. I assume my days are over. Follow me, and I shall guide you to the tavern. You should be able to find what you're looking for there. The white-haired swordsman disappeared like a puff of smoke. The swordsman said earlier that he'll be waiting at the tavern, where all spirits go. Okay, so this is basically um, a town where you have to come every time you want to level up, every time you need to rest to regain your spells. It's a very old school game like that, um, kind of D&D-ish. You have to come back to the end and sleep every time you want to get your spells back, every time you want to level up, and every time you want to regenerate your health. So you, you kind of have to come back here every once in a while. Um, the town works pretty simple. You just select where you want to go. Uh, but for right now, we need to head to the bar, where all good adventures begin. I think one of my D&D uh, &D players just sent me a text message, so... The people here shall welcome your presence. Since their loss is in the flash, this place is flooded with people who are searching for what they have lost. Booze, presumably. It will be a challenging task. Some are looking for their dreams, some are looking for their loved ones. But in any case, they're, they, are, they are precious memories to each of one of them. They have not been able to retrieve these things after the flash. It shall be your duty to fulfill their quests. As you probably gathered, this is where you come to get uh, quests in the game that you can uh, do while you're in the labyrinth, usually. Um, and as I showed you guys in my preview video, uh, it's going to be a bit harder to show you here because my mouse pointer actually won't show up um, in this particular recording. But if you look right under the exit button, there's a, a guy wearing no pants. And if you look really hard, you can see... Um, a sort of hooded figure behind them, behind the bar, or like behind the counter, rather. And one of the things that I thought was really neat, when you take the quests, these people actually come up to you. And as you do their quests, they literally disappear from the bar. They're gone out of this uh, scene. So eventually, at the end of the game, if you do all the quests, there's no one here. It's, it's pretty cool. Let's get started. With Kyo. Client Kyo. I've lost my pride as a ninja ever since I was faced with death. Will you help me conquer this fear so that I can stand tall in battle? A 
ninja quickly pushed his way through the crowd and approached him. The swordsman said you were recruiting people for your party. As Kyo grips his pants. If that is true, would you mind taking me to the labyrinth? He was polite, but under his hood there was a sharp look in his eyes. He introduced himself as Kyo Hattori. We ninjas have grown up to live a different life than most people. We have trained our bodies and minds throughout our lives to defeat one enemy. That enemy is fear. Fear changes people. I thought I had already accomplished that task. There should be no ninja who is frightened of fear. That just sounds like an oxymoron, I'm sorry. But I guess I never really met my true enemy. Kyo stopped talking. Although he did not show it in his expression, his subconscious brought back a dark recollection. I was no doubt a warrior until death appeared before me. I was lying on the ground, quietly awaiting death. My body was turning cold and the darkness was nearing me. There was no feeling of ease, just darkness. It was the darkness of death that seemed to swallow everything. I feared for the first time in my life, if only my body moved. When I was miraculously rescued, I was no longer a warrior. I had turned into a coward. I lost everything instantly. He stopped talking. His reluctance kept his mouth tightly sealed. Please. Help me regain my pride as a ninja, a pride that I have lost. I just need another chance. I'd never been much help to anyone, but I'm willing to do anything for that chance. Kyo has joined the party. Okay, and here's where we get into the uh, personality mechanic. Uh, this game makes a really big deal, and I'll explain this later, but the game makes a really big deal out of trust. Um, you get these combat maneuvers called allied actions based on your party's trust. And all characters have a personality type. Um, and you do doing what affects their personality type will increase or decrease their trust depending on the character. Kyohatori has a strong sense of justice. He would be a dreaded opponent against any who goes against him. He also has the composure to be kind to those who are not hostile. So if you battle monsters that are friendly, you will be hurting him. And... Pantsless Man. Help me believe that trust is an integral part of an adventure. I know it's an odd request, but it's important to me. I'm not trying to do this guy with a redneck voice, but his dialogue just makes it. So, uh, you've accepted my quest? A warrior approaches you. He stood speaking without introducing himself, or started speaking. I want to know if trust is actually useful in an adventure. I know it's an odd quest, but it's important to me. His name was Ricardo Dorfe? I don't know. There's going to be a lot of names in this game I can't pronounce worth shit. And that should give you guys some cheap laughs. He mentioned that he has been as far as the down... He mentioned he has been as far down as the lab... God damn! He's been down to the third floor in the labyrinth. I used to be in another team before. That's where I learned that people work individually after all. They wouldn't help you if you screwed up. If you lost your life, they'd probably just say you didn't have enough ability. Ricardo looked uncertain. He continued to talk with a wry grin. Very grin. He was on this one mission. One of our party members was caught by a monster. And I hurried to help him. He was one of the guys I got to know pretty well. I couldn't just let that darn beast eat my friend. See what I'm saying? The guy lived, but... Ricardo stopped talking and smiled weakly. My careless actions caused the failure of our mission, so I was let go. The team leader told me trust ain't worth shit. But I don't think so. 
That swordsman said you were different, even though he doesn't know me. So I have a favor to ask you. Show me if trust is really useful in battle. If you are a kind of leader I have been looking for, I'm willing to sacrifice anything, especially my pants. Ricardo has joined your party. A brief tip on his personality. Ricardo, he is full of kindness. He values camaraderie more than the thrills of adventure or battle. You will lose his trust if you act in a way that values your selfishness more than your comrade's life. Or your own life. This guy's annoying. Alright. Let's get moving. Okay, I really don't think there's anything else to see in town right now except uh, a few little things here and there. Maybe it's a dialogue. Uh, in various places, but I'll go ahead and show you some of that before we head into the labyrinth. Okay, here's the temple. Uh, you'll be coming here whenever you get your party members killed <laughs> or uh, afflicted with some sort of disease you don't have the ability to cure yet. Lodgings is where you go to uh, level up and rest and get your spells back. And there's actually some uh, dialogue that occurs in here before you go into the labyrinth. Take care. Haven't seen you before. Are you in town to look for the secret treasures of the labyrinth? I have an interest in the labyrinth. After the flash, many adventurers have been attracted to the labyrinth. I heard there were secret treasures hidden deep inside. Ponds. And there's a rumor that whoever is able to get these treasures will be granted any wish. If the queen has encouraged people to go into the labyrinth for her own greed, I'd be very disappointed. Many adventurers have lost their lives searching the labyrinth. Isn't that sweet? The priestess looked uncertain. She was quite dissatisfied with the queen's scheme. I don't think the treasures are worth anyone's life. If it gets too dangerous in the labyrinth, I would recommend coming back to rest. Sleep will prevent you from getting ill. It's the best way to heal your body. Because in video games, sleeping the night cures all wounds. Sleep will also help you to develop attributes. A famous sorcerer once said, We develop while we sleep because we meet with God in our dreams, and I just had an aneurysm in my brain. So you need to value life. If you die, you'll never be able to reach your goal. No piss. Alright. So we don't really need to rest right now because we haven't done anything. So we're good. Vigor's shop is home of porno music, but we'll go there later. For now, let's just uh, head into the labyrinth. I'm really, really happy about finally being able to LP this game. Master, he's here! Uno, dos, tres! There's me three of them. If my voice acting gets annoying, I'll stop. But it's kind of fun. So you finally come with the ones you've met. Three is a mystical and superior number, even though you'll get six party members by the end of the game. Since ancient times, it has signified a new beginning. Even if each of you is powerless, you will be able to overcome any difficulties with a combined effort. But you will need trust for that. Without trust, even the strong won't have a chance to live. It's not something that you can develop overnight. Only time and hardships together can create trust among you. Now. The swordsman stopped talking. No. He looked fixedly at your party with his piercing blue eyes as if he was trying to search for something. All right. The labyrinth is ready for you. It's lubed and ready to go. I'll be waiting ahead inside. Don't you dare die before you reach me. What are you going to do if I do die, exactly? <laughs> Ice Costa! I'll be waiting for you, too. i see you later. What a strange guy. There shouldn't be any qualifications needed to get inside the labyrinth, especially since the Queen is encouraging people to go there. 
In any case, he didn't seem like a bad fella. It may turn out to be fun after all. You may be right, but we need to build a good reputation first. Once we have a good reputation, others will want to join us. And then, that should help us more with our adventure. There's no need to rush things now. I get scared when I get rushed. Besides, there is some truth to what he said. We're going to have to enter the labyrinth anyway. Why don't we just hear him out for a while? Hmm, sure, I guess we could. Okay, let's get going. I'll be playing this game with the uh, Xbox 360 D-pad. Porno music. Damn it! The damn hobbit! Shit, I'm gonna strangle him. This ain't no sword that can kill anything. It's just a plain sword. Kobolds are shouting at each other in the distance. What are we gonna do? We used all our money. Miss Virgo is gonna kill us. The kobolds are approaching you. And they look happy. What are you looking at? Out of my way. Or else, we'll eat you for breakfast. Oh, I got it. Let's get the money from these guys. I don't have any money. You're a genius. The kobolds have attacked you. And for those who watched the preview video, um, before the game would crash after any combat, so... Good luck, it won't do that this time. Ninjas are pretty cool. Um, kill is the only ninja you'll get for a while. And I died already. I hate this game. Well, that one goes in the let's fail category. I should have used somewhere out there. <laughs> the worst game ever. <laughs> I'm sorry I died before I got to you. Damn! We'll remember this. Next time we meet, you're not leaving alive. I didn't leave alive, you assholes. I've never, I don't think I've ever played as a sorcerer character before, and until I get another party member to take up the front line... Um, I'm probably gonna die a few times. Uh, fortunately, it doesn't take very long to get a, a fourth party member, so... I just gotta stick it out for a little while. I don't even know if I can afford to res myself yet. This is gonna be interesting. Spending my gold <laughs> on bringing myself back to life. Someone, someone out there is rolling on the floor, just pissing themselves in laughter right now. I am too. Well, I didn't level up. These other assholes did. More soft horn music. 150 gold to sleep the night, and it costs 200 gold to bring someone back from the dead. Somehow I feel this in dripping people off. Just saying. But yeah, playing with all NPCs, you actually don't get a sorcerer for quite a while, so I figured I'd play that role for a bit. And I'm actually going to try and level myself up really quick, you know, without the death and humiliation this time. I swear to God, these people kill me. Fuck it, I'll go back to the dwarf warrior. I don't care.
I think I'm going to play till we get the first party member, probably cut off the video, um, start uploading and crap. I discovered PCSX does have save states, so I don't actually have to, uh, I don't actually have to play through everything every time. I can just pause in the middle of the dungeon, because normally you can only save in town. So, you could be adventuring down in the dungeon for a few hours and get killed, and then you're fucked. You have to go back to the last time you saved. I now have two spells per day. Isn't that thrilling? Doesn't make you just want to stab your eyes out with an ice pick. Sadly, you need to do a lot of combat in this game to level up, like all role-playing games, really. You can't skip out on the combat. Uh, so you guys might have to see me fast forward a few times to get through this game. I don't know. It'll, 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 yeah. Especially like some of the later quests, which we'll get to uh, later. And, uh, we'll see what I mean. But in all seriousness, yeah, I do think this is a pretty fun game, and, uh, there is a sequel made to this game, but uh, it was only released in Japan. I do have a copy of it, but since I don't read Japanese, the story doesn't seem to appeal to me quite as much. I'm gonna try, and, uh, I've played this game many times before. So I'm not going to lie to you, I'm going to try and explore it a little bit like I've never played before, but I'm going to go off uh, instinct, if you will, on a few things. So, like, there's a door back there that was locked, but I didn't check it because I know it's locked, so... Stuff like that. I mean, I guess it's safe at the time, but... You don't have the thrill of actually exploring the dungeon for the first time, I guess. But yeah, combat um, gets a lot better. It's actually very basic right now, early on in the game. So I'm going the wrong way. It's very basic early on in the game. You don't have a lot of powers or anything, or a lot of spells. Later, you get allied actions. The instant you entered, there was something different about this room. Several boxes aligned neatly to form a desk. And a carpet was rolled out to welcome guests. I don't see a carpet. This room contained a scent of liveliness, something about that that did not just ex something that did not exist in the labyrinth. I don't see a carpet. Is that supposed to be a carpet? This is a wooden box. Uh, but yet later you get allied actions, which are basically combat maneuvers for your party, which add a level of depth. And here's friendly monsters. Uh, a mechanic that exists for people like Kyo, and that's basically the entire reason it exists in the game. You leave and Kyo's trust goes up. Other than that, there's no real reason of having that in the game. It was a neat idea, I guess, but kind of useless in practice. Sorry, but can you wait a moment? I'm ashamed to say, but my legs won't stop shaking. I almost lost my life up ahead. I know it's all in the past, but I can't seem to forget that fear. That's encouraging. Sorry to cause unnecessary worry. Don't worry about it. We're a team. Hey, Slayo. Don't you think we should go on where Kyo almost died? You know, tease him about it? Call him a Nancy boy. If you keep avoiding that place, man, you'll never be able to recover your fear of the past. So, Kyo, where is that place? If you keep going straight ahead, there should be an area in a snowy altar. There should be an altar in a snowy area. In front of the altar is where I was laying. 
Got it. Snowy altar, right? Then what are we waiting for? Well, we're actually not going to the altar just yet. There's something engraved on the wall, and it looks like writing, and this is what it says. To go to town easily, use a transfer potion. You'll be there instantly. The mighty warrior, Odom. We have more Slimers. <clears throat> There's a lot of mechanics to the game. It's fairly in-depth. Like I said, kind of old school world playing game. A lot of uh, different things going on all the time. So. Like, uh, you might have noticed these guys drop something called Slimes Goo. Yeah, different uh, creatures drop different reagents and stuff like that. And you can basically use those to make spell stones to level up your spell powers and to learn new spells. Because uh, priests and mages kind of learn spells like wizards in D&D, &D, and you have to get a scroll, uh, read the stuff off the scroll, and you learn the spell. <clears throat> More voices that are going to hurt my throat. Oh gosh, what should I do? A priest just stood bored in the room. You're the one. We've been at the lodge, right? Are you here to get a pass also? Uh, just stop by. Since the labyrinth is governed by the royal family, you won't be able to go down the labyrinth without a pass. I was pretty sure this is the room to get a pass. I've been waiting for a while, but nobody's shown up. What should I do now? The party members I just hired just took their money and ran. And there's another brain aneurysm waiting on the next line. That totally sucks. Looks like you don't even have a priest with you. That's what all parties need is a good priest. How about a deal? If you allow me and your party, I think we'll both benefit from each other. Please join our party. I'm relieved that you all seem like really nice people. Okay, we got a deal. I'm Sarah McDuff. Nice to meet you. Sarah joined your party. No, that's not what I want. Now I get to alter the formation a little bit. Old McDuff and can be in the middle. I will be in the back row, looking pretty. I just said I was going to stop after that, but... I figured we can go ahead and resolve Kyo's little quest real quick. I'm already over 30 minutes of footage, and I know I'm going to have to put this video up. best if you don't think about the monsters in this game too much. I wonder if I can put these two people on the front row and one person in the back. I don't think I can. E. That's not good. He's down to one fucking hit point. Tra opening lots and traps, pretty interesting. I'm gonna be terrible at it. I didn't do that. A questionable axe. Yes, you have to identify items in this game, and some of them are cursed. There's actually quite a few cursed items in this game, so um, it likes to punish you if you don't do what you're supposed to do. Transfer potions. Alright, now we can go find out about Kill. It's right here. I was laying here at the altar. 
Kyo walked slowly towards the altar. He gazed down at the cracked and worn altar. Kyo's whispers were audible. I was frightened as the cold and fatigue numbed my senses one by one. A sharp claw, the sharp claws of death held me firmly as it tried to pull me into the darkness. I struggled. I desperately pursued the light in order to fend off the darkness. I tried to recall the bright memories I felt in my life, but I had nothing. I was always alone in my memories. Not even the memory of a friend filling my mind with nostalgia, nor a loved one who warms my heart just by the thought of her. No, I had nothing. The only thoughts that existed were of despair and regret. Kyo lightly brushed the snow off the surface and walked back. Since then, I've been plagued with nightmares. I thought that if I returned to this place, my fear would return to haunt me. But in reality, it is hasn't. All I see is a chunk of stone. Maybe I was wrong. Death cannot be overcome. It is a fate no one can escape. Then trying to fight death may just be useless, for darkness is always buried within my heart. I'm afraid I wasted your time. And now that I'm done wasting your time, viewers, we're going to cut off here. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you like the new LP. Um, I'm really looking forward to working on this one a bit more. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.